The detour really tests oh, the CDL driver. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, those roads were scary. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the disease on the seas, aka Atlantic City, New Jersey, where we actually just posted up with our good friends from Worldly Custom Fab. This is crazy, crazy story. But back in 2015, I had actually reached out to Jason, the owner of Worldly Fab, and said, Hey, I'd really love to work with you guys. I got this idea. I don't want any free parts. Let's do some cool stuff together. And we did, and we've done a lot of cool stuff together since. But since that happened back in 2015, I actually had only ever met Jason one time in passing at SEMA. It was unplanned, and now here, kind of in somewhat of my home area of the United States of America, I get to connect up with these guys. So they're gonna be setting their booth up. I really appreciate it. They actually got the OBZ here in kind of like the vendor section. This is my first time ever at a truck meet, and I'm excited to bring you guys along to share my experiences. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of really cool stuff. Plus, I wanna say a huge thank you to Mark, who actually puts on Atlantic City Truck Meet. I really do hope that this thing can continue on for years and years and years to come. Hopefully, no bad apples ruin this thing because that typically seems to just be the way that it always works. Nothing wrong with a bunch of grown ass men driving around Atlantic City in an OBS Duramax Swab Ford listening to a little, little T Swift, okay? We got one station and we are listening true, my friends. Whatever pops up is what we're enjoying because this is a glorious moment. We haven't really ever driven the OBZ really anywhere except into a pole almost one time. So uh, hopefully this, this drive is a little bit more joyous and T Swift is just going to have to join us in the process. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> oh, so the vent tube still isn't right, which is weird because we have put a brand new sending unit in, we've got a brand new fill neck, we've got a brand new sump pump, we've got a brand new lift pump, we've got a brand new poly tank, and we just don't understand why. So the rate at which we can fill up is, is not even like quite over the first click, I kid you not. I tried to fill this thing the other day, it got to like 50 bucks and it took me 20 minutes. So uh, the Whirly Boys and Brody are just gonna have to chill and enjoy the nostalgic red interior for quite a little bit of time. 
Well, I guess it's 45 bucks. That's where we top off. It's, it's literally full to the top. Right on the money. 12.034 gallons at 45 bucks when the diesel's 373. Noted. All right, so this thing's sick. I mean, before I get there, let me show you right over here real quick. Lower down, 28? I don't know, I can't really see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I might be mistaken on that. 26 is lower down, Forgiatos, crazy clean. Always had a thing for this body style, you guys know that. That's what it makes in case you were curious. That powder coat color is sick with the white, double accent, kind of a big fan, obviously. What size setups on it? 69, 88. 69? No, 69 Valley, 88 top. Okay, 69, 88. Damn! Sounds sick. Looks sick too. So I guess I'm taking over the vlog while we go ahead and wait in line. Jack, Jack say hi to the boy. That's, that's a good. Can't hear you. You rock it out too much, bro. <laughs> but yeah, it's we've probably been in traffic for I would say probably like 20, 30 minutes. So I'm just getting out and vlogging the line. People are just kind of fitting where they can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so parking was chaos. But in my typical fashion, I'm always late, and then when you put me and Brody together, it's just it's just not good. It's a guaranteed tardy arrival. We pulled in, we parked the GTR back there, happened to get out, and then we saw that GMC with, of course, nothing other than a polished enthusiast bullet antenna, which they will be coming back soon. We are just uh, very much backlogged on all those orders, so please bear with us. But ladies and gentlemen, enough about that. Let's uh, let's check out what Atlantic City Truck Meet has to offer. Obviously, you guys saw a little bit of yesterday, which was more of the setup day. It was casual, it was informal. We were chilling with the guys from Worley, as I had said. Went out, grabbed some dinner, and then we're kicking the day off right. It's about 10.42. The gates opened around 10 o'clock, around nine o'clock, as a matter of fact. Both of the highway entrances are completely jam-packed. I have a feeling that this is going to be a great turnout, and luckily the weather actually cooperated today. Well, actually, one more shameless plug. Ladies and gentlemen, DDG number 32, my Denali, $30,000 cash are up for grabs, so if you guys want to get entered for that, check out the link in the description below. Let's go see what this show has to offer. Dudes, look at this thing. You guys remember this truck by any chance here? Let me jump around the backside and see if you can recall from that angle right there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is Clifford right here. Man, this is one of our Dream Diesel giveaways from a few years ago. Oh my God, it's good to see this truck. This thing has been on the road for a long time. Obviously, it's got a di different set of tires on it now. I don't know if there really were any other changes made to this thing, but it is sick to see it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and they got another familiar spotting here. The owner of this truck is actually the latest addition to Left Lane Coatings, Bryce. It's good to see you out here, man. He actually just recently joined the team over at Left Lane not all that long ago and obviously walking right in to see a familiar truck. That's what it's all about. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We finally made it. What's up, boys? We're just showing up a little lax and it's all good. Y'all need help setting anything up? No? We're all good? You brought this just for me, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We'll put this on the truck before we go out and cruise a little later. <laughs> all right, perfect. We got some Cerakoted manifolds from Whirly Fab, some ARP head studs. Ooh, this is a fancy unit. 
I'm liking this right here. A nice little water separator addition, some up pipes. Of course, we've got some, looks like some L5P intercooler piping here, different colors. So now Whirly's actually making these custom roll carts. These things are absolutely awesome. So there's actually four different sizes that you guys can get with these tables, and then you can customize both your brackets and your countertop colors. Check out their website. They've also got hideaway hitches for 2020 plus GMs, roll pans that are actually in the making for the 2020 plus GM trucks, which is sick. They're going to be the first ones to release those to the market and a whole bunch of other goodies. And they were nice enough to actually allow me to bring the OBZ out into the booth. Now, although we don't have anything under the hood with Whirly on this truck yet, Yet, it will have a fully custom, one-off design, Whirly custom piping, and then we're gonna do some turbo stuff to this truck eventually. But it does qualify for Whirly because it does have the 750 plus fully built transmission in it. And in the meantime, you know, this is just gonna have to do. Oh, yeah, what's up? I love it, buddy. Where's the sticker? That's what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, it's a celebration. Had to go SpaceX for the elevation. And they can't come close to the dedication. Everybody on your feet. Guys, this thing's sick. I love that color combo. Satin PPF and then a bright color. Brody, I think we need to do something similar to that too, bro. Like that. We really that do. That is beautiful. That's dope. We may or may not have a new truck locked up for a specific event that may not end in number 33. What's up, guys? And we may or may not be discussing some satin PPF finishing options, you, but more to oh, come on we, that. we got the satin PPF covered. Do you know a powder coater? Um, I think so, right? Yeah, yeah actually, I, I, I think I do know a guy. Yeah, I think yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 I think I do. I think I do. I think we'll be good. No, D Max man, Rhino. It's right there, buddy. So <laughs> it's kind of a hilarious story, but. I didn't actually plan on being here in Atlantic City this weekend, and that's why we didn't really do a big formal thing. Luckily, our boys at Whirly are basically family, and they kind of penciled me in, kind of penciled me out. We got all this crazy stuff going on family-wise, and I really try and prioritize family time on the weekends, so here's the deal. We're basically... Yo! Come on. How's the stream? Oh, bro, oh, good. Look at that. It's barely Mediocre at that. Mediocre at that. <laughs> They all like dang. No, I'm saying, man, early in the day. Step in, everybody notice. Try and make waves on coasting. Got a game plan and a notion. This like poetry in motion. I ain't about wasting no time. It's 247 on a full time ground. Whoa, whoa, better make up your mind. Put it all on the line. I'm staying on mine. Boys and girls, day three, headed back to Atlantic City Truck Me now. So we have, this is the last and final day. I ran out of battery yesterday, which is kind of a bummer because we enjoyed an amazing cruise in this truck down along the Eastern Coastal Highway that runs all of the different spans of islands from Atlantic City all the way down to Cape May. Stayed at our house last night a few islands down and now we are back and cruising. Speedo still is not synced up. We're working on that and Zach thinks he has a solution. So we're gonna see what happens there. But really, let's just take a minute to appreciate how well this thing drives, okay? This is incredible. I mean, it's a testament to all the quality products and parts that we put on this truck, but having a completely rebuilt chassis and being able to drive like this without any hesitation sputter or any bounciness or bizarre kind of recoil, that is a feat in and of itself. We're cruising right now at, let's just say about 70 miles an hour. I think the speed is off by a few miles per hour, which isn't that big of a deal, but. These old OBSs, man, they are wobbly, they are squirrely, they are a little loose, they're rubber bandy because of that frame. But with all that modern suspension component, we've got the Carly parts, the Flight Fab parts, the Synergy parts. This thing is just driving absolutely incredibly and I wanted to highlight that because this is legitimately my first time on the highway with this truck ever, 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 ever. I didn't even drive it on the highway when we got it when it was originally a 5.8 liter gas turbo drive truck. So this moment is awesome. Now I am kind of spoiled it a little bit for myself so what I'm gonna do is open back up my vintage style air conditioning 
crack the windows, scan some FM stations, and enjoy the ride. This thing turned out sick, man. But does like a multi-step ladder come down when you open the door? You're working on that. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hell yeah, good morning. We got the flight pad stuff all over the place. All right, the good old trusty single cab was fantastic this weekend for AC Truck Meet. Not really the biggest flex in the entire world, but that's not really what I was after. At the end of the day, I actually had a lot of family obligations, which I was able to fulfill as well as make the event and meet so many incredible new and familiar faces that I got to see again. OBZ, fantastic. I am just overly enthused about how well this thing did for this big weekend. There was kind of a lot of pressure on it that I think that I was putting on it and the fact that I really didn't have much time to shake it down beforehand but Zach from Precision Vehicle Works I need to say seriously dude thank you so incredibly much like this thing at that event made for what was an absolutely incredible weekend and now as the day is kind of winding down I get to sit here and reflect upon that absolutely beautiful creation right there in front of us. It's safe to say that this is a continued project that really has no end goal in mind, but that is what I especially love about a project like this, is that there are so many things that I just get to enjoy the overall process. So I'm gonna get this thing unloaded. We're gonna get it back into the pole building. We've been saving that far bay just for this very thing. Successfully fried as fudge <laughs> from this past weekend, man, we got lit. I, uh, I really didn't think about using sunscreen because I was honestly just stoked that it, well, it wasn't raining, although we really need it desperately. It was just a beautiful weekend and the OBZ was out and about. I'm sorry that I didn't get you guys all that much footage about the entire event. Truthfully, this is just kind of a look at my perspective and being that we didn't get to walk around all that much other than those few clips just shows you that when we're on site, we really make it all about meeting the individuals that took time out of their schedule to come out and enjoy it. So many, so many, like so, so, so many incredible reactions and excitement over this very creation right here behind me. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, grab your entries for Dream Diesel Giveaway number 32, my Denali and $30,000 cash. Needs a new owner and will that new owner be you? Only time will tell. Be on the lookout for some very exciting uploads coming right here in the near future by tapping that subscribe button and the thumbs up on your way out. And I'll see y'all in the next upload.